Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. I'm Amy. Yay, and today we're playing This Game is Killer! Now, normally we don't play uh, three-player end-up games, but thanks to Amy for being here tonight. And so we are going to play all of the games that take a lot of player count. So uh, this game is by Smirk and Dagger and plays three to ten players. Wow. That's a tough a lot. And we're all going to die within 15 I minutes. might not die. Oh, I, I might will. cower it out and just win. Yeah. <laughs> so what is the object of the game? Well, this game is killer. So the object of the game is to survive. But, so, but it's also on the box says it's already too late. It's it. Dum dum dum. It's too late for it's you. It's already too late. Yeah, I knew when I saw that life status. The stamp. So, yeah, won't be we for the we stamp. each have we are we are crew members on a ship, and we are all alive until we're not because there's an alien on board. Oops. Uh, oops. But the, Who had the alien on board? Yeah, but the game is only 15 minutes, so it's uh, fine. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Now, people are used to games like Nemesis, big setup, and don't get me wrong. I love Nemesis. Oh, yeah. I'll play it at any time, just about. Um, but this game plays in 15 minutes. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks to Kurt at Smirk and Dagger for providing us this copy of This Game is Killer, and it is... But he didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. He gave it to us because he knows we like to play all, all the games. games. So let's go ahead and quickly die while I teach you all the rules. Oh. I know. Delvia says I brought the alien because I'm the trader. <laughs> I always get betrayed in Nemesis at the, the hub doors, whatever. <laughs> um, Nemesis that's sometimes what sad, happens. Sad record. So, what you're going to have to do if you're playing with three to five players, the alien has already removed the bridge and the med lab. Ouch. They're already gone. You need to take all of the crew cards that say bridge and med lab and remove them. There are three of each. They are all numbered. You'll see the numbers one, two, and three up in the corner. You need to get rid of all of these cards and put them in the box. And take those location cards and put them face down on this nice handy dandy neoprene mat. I love it. I love neoprene mats in games. No, not the meth lab, the med lab. <laughs> Splutty. <laughs> so, we have to survive from being killed by the alien. One of us could win, all of us could win. If this you is the alien. That's this right. Amy has a word for these sort of games. Yeah, it's called coopetition. Yes, we are going to cooperatively compete. <laughs> but it is a competition. We might actually have to hide behind somebody while the alien attacks them first. Frenemies. <laughs> the frenemies. The the tallest one. That's right. That's right. Are you saying I'm tastiest because I have the most meat? Yes, that's what we're saying. <laughs> Tell me I'm fat without yeah, telling me I'm fat. You. <laughs> so, um, each of these crew cards can be oriented two different ways. There is a location with a number on uh, each of these cards. Notice all of the text is upside down. That's because if you play a card this direction... You're playing it as a location. In addition, you've got a priority value here at the top. And uh, lower priority values are more priority than higher priority yeah. values. Number one priority. It, yeah, you think it's of it. A it's a list. The number yeah. one priority is the one the alien is going to go after. <laughs> so gotcha. keep that in mind. If you play the card this way, you are going to do whatever it says on this card. So, uh, you will notice that there is black text and red text. The red text are going to, uh, it's going to be unresolved things. And the little warning means that this could affect how it could impact the game's end. 
the black is just going to take effect immediately or whenever it applies. So go ahead and read the black text when you play the card. The red text will be, and it will say, if you're the last on board, blah, blah, blah. So. Or keep, whatever it says. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Whenever uh, the round starts, you're going to be dealt two cards. You're going to have to decide which one is your location and which one is your action. So you might be playing these cards like so. Or you might be playing these like so. Hey, here's that joke. I just got to outrun you. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what happens with that. So now let's say it's my turn to reveal a card. Let's say I'm first. I will play a card either for its action or for its location. And then Steph plays a card either for action or for location. And then Amy plays both of her cards, her location and her action. Then Steph plays whatever she did not play before. And then I will play whatever I did not play before. So play your first card and then play your second card in a snake draft order. Then, whoever is the first crew member, that would be me as if I started off, I will reveal the alien's location. The alien is in one of these six places, either in the galley, the airlock, the access corridor, the engine room, the shuttle bay, and the cargo hold. Notice the little icons. They match up. If for some reason you don't know where you are and you can't read the text, clearly that's where you are. And the alien cards will also match up with the location. So, what happens if the alien is where you are? Well, that's going to be bad news. <clears throat> um, you are going to um, compare your numbers if you are with somebody, and whoever has the lowest priority number is going to get eaten by the alien if they are in the alien's location. If none of us are in the alien's location, well, that's okay. It's not the best, but um, let's say, I'm gonna shuffle these back up. Let's say the alien was in the airlock. We're gonna put this card over here, and that is where the alien has hunted before. The alien is not gonna come back here again until the alien has hunted at all of these locations. So you now you have some idea as to where the alien is not going to go in future rounds. So, if you're still alive. <laughs> um that's true. So, the alien will kill only a single crew member at that location. So, um hold on a second. Let me see this here. No, I think I uh, I think we got it backwards. The highest number is the highest priority. Okay. Got priority it. 1 and priority 3. So, yeah, it's it's a little counterintuitive. So okay. the example in the rule book shows it perfectly. Priority one, fine. Priority three, dead. Oh, they're just measuring your deluxe. Okay, so the bad. higher number is just Yes. Bad. So. Okay. If a card requires you to destroy a location, like blow the airlock, all of the crew in that position are also dead. You're going to flip over your card to show no life signs here. If an alien is at that location, it also dies. Everybody else wins. There you go. As long as you're surviving. <laughs> so if you blow me out with the alien, the airlock's destroyed, and y'all win. Sweet. So, also if, the, if that location is destroyed, you put the card like so. So, um, of course, if the alien's been destroyed right there, then that's uh, you don't need to put the card on there game because over. game over. We got him out. Right. Otherwise, you're going to have to fish that card out of this row. Reshuffle and set up the line again. Mm -hmm. So, um, shuffle up all the locations that have not been destroyed or previously hunted by the alien. Reform the hunting row. If there are no more locations in the hunting row, let's say 
these are up because they've been previously hunted or destroyed for some reason. We destroyed the engine room. This is where the alien was, the shuttle bay for that last round. You're going to destroy that last location and remove all of those matching crew cards from the game. So we're going to put this here. This is where the alien has nested. It's uninhabitable. So it's effectively destroyed. You're down to these four locations. So if we manage to get through those four locations, then wherever the last location was, is what where the alien is going to nest again. <laughs> and so we have fewer and fewer locations from which to choose. First player will advance clockwise every time we reveal a location and deal with the cards. That first player will wrote the first uh what do they call it? The uh uh the first uh player there was a there was a uh term that they used. Um, yeah, anyway, um, if you're the last person on board, you might be able to do a last on board thing. Like if I'm the last on board, set the self-destruct and take the last shuttle, the alien dies, you win. If you're lucky enough to get this, then that's great. But guess what? The shuttle bay has to be available. Otherwise, you're not getting out by the shuttle bay. Nope. So. Um, there are also things like this, ongoing action. When you play an ongoing action card, notice it says play as your first and only card. You have no position. You cannot be killed. Ongoing action means you are going to continue to use this ongoing action card. <laughs> Some of them will say something like this. You're dealt only one crew card, which must be your position. So if you are, if you have an ongoing action and you're dealt two cards, you will choose one, play it as your location, but ongoing action is going to be your action. So let's say that uh, for the cold storage, you get to guess the alien's location before you reveal it each round. If you're correct, you re-enter play next round. So basically, this just keeps you safe from the alien for a little while. But let's say somebody leaves. Um, if somebody leaves because, um, let's see, where is it? Do, do, do. Uh, oh, yeah. After three fails, you freeze to death in the cold storage. Some of the things say last on board. A crew in cold storage is not on board. So if Amy's in cold storage and I've been killed, Steph can play a last on board card, That's which weird. will let her leave. You will freeze to death. Oh. So <laughs> keep that in mind. So anytime a place is destroyed, you're removing the cards from this deck um, and you're shuffling these up each round. Whatever is left over you could be dealt those cards. Let's play. That's pretty much it. Uh, if there are not enough crew cards, if they, if we destroy so many locations that there are not enough crew cards for each member to take two, deal just one card to each crew member. That's what you get. <laughs> and guess where it has to be used as? Wherever you... A location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just a location. You get no action. Yep. Okay. You are all too panicked to act. <laughs> so, anyway, super fun game. Uh, I love coopetition games like this. It's your favorite word. It's that that <laughs> is now fun word. It's now my new favorite word. What? It's not melty. Oh no! I hate the word melty. <laughs> melty is not a word. It's melted. Uh. Melty. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh no. I gotta try. Ooh, I love that. Let's do this. <laughs> 
All right. Choose one to be the location and one to be the action. Yes. Yeah, so I'm. Uh, do you want me to be the first? Yeah. Yep. Go. Go ahead. I'll be the first. The first crew member. That's the term. First crew member. So we can't let it escape. I am planning to ignite the fuel reserves and torching the shuttle bay. At the end of the round, I'm going to destroy the shuttle bay and kill all the crew with the, within. Hopefully, you didn't get dealt two shuttle bay cards. No, but if anything's there, it's going to die, and we win. Okay, I'm going to go to the engine room. That's great. <laughs> so. so she, I played action. She played location. Amy, you get to choose the order you play your two cards in. Hmm. Play them up here so everybody can see them. <laughs> Darn. She's I deciding. Play the galley. She's going to the galley. And, and what are you doing in the galley? The incinerator unit. The, the alien will not kill you this round. The next priority crew member in the galley is killed instead. If you were the last on board, you would co corner the alien and toast it like a marshmallow. Would have loved to save the card. That would have been so good. Yep. I'm a corporate spy. What's your ongoing action? Uh, if the alien would kill me and I'm alone, I stun it, take a sample... Kill life support, leaving in a secret escape pod. I win. Everyone dies. Dang. Wow. So, <laughs> this could be a really short game. And, and it's a permanent ongoing action. So, it, it's my... That is going action. to be an... And we're going to deal her two cards. She's going to choose one and discard the other one. Yep. Unless the card says otherwise. I'm going to be in the cargo hold. So... The alien is in the shuttle bay. Ah. In the shuttle bay. <laughs> Did you just win the game? No. No. Oh, you're I just destroyed the shuttle bay. I killed the crew within. There is nobody in there. The alien was there. It dies. And we all win. All right. We might need to play again. We all won. Oh. I chose the shuttle bay. Uh, oh, no, I wasn't a corporate spy. No, I wasn't. No. no. <laughs> I... <laughs> Not die. <laughs> so. Okay. okay. Reset. Games don't usually go like just so we're no, all playing. No, that was a one in six shot. That was a blind luck shot. That. That's so, hilarious, though. Um, you want to set a prediction for for uh, will we survive? Will we? Will one of us survive or what? We can. I'm, these like who will die? First? I don't know if you can. Who will die first? <laughs> die first. You have to type though. I will. All right. For those out there who want to predict, we're going to do a second game here. <laughs> oh, okay. Or you can put none, right? Nobody. Nobody. Perfect. Okay. And a quick two-minute prediction. <laughs> All right, you got two minutes. All right, am I going to look? All right, you're gonna be the first. You're gonna be the first crew member. Yes. Starting game number did. two. I can't believe you did that. That was so good. Save hey, listen, shuttle. we're gonna blow the shuttle bay. Okay, let's blow the shuttle bay. <laughs> Roll credits. A oh, twenty minute mini movie. <laughs> or twenty second. <laughs> Definitely twenty seconds. So have y'all got? Have y'all ever seen how it should have ended? Oh. How it should have ended are little cartoon shorts that will show how a movie should have ended, but sometimes it makes it like a super short movie. <laughs> they take out inconsistencies in the plot, so, you know, and say, well, why don't you just ride the eagles over uh, Mount Doom and throw the ring in? Oh, hey, that would have been so easy. Somebody else has to vote. All right, it's you, Steph. Oh, I have to read this. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to go to the cargo holds. Wow. So you just do one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the airlock. 
Go into the airlock. I am going to the mall. Since I know where y'all are, I'm going to go to the engine room. And then we can't let it escape. I'm going to torch the shuttle van. <laughs> <laughs> Did you shovel these? Two cars? times in a row. Let's watch it happen. Oh I have God. to play this already. Yes. Okay. I ain't sticking around here. <laughs> Swap your revealed position with another crew member's revealed position. Oh, it's going to be fine. No, no, this is good. I'm sure you're going to draw a cargo hold and I'm done. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right. I just gotta outrun you. If everybody in my in my position is now priority four, which is bigger than a three. Everybody else picked airlock though. So, step yes one through six three three. Nah. I'm gonna place it on the shuttle, shuttle bay because That's oh, it's the. <laughs> All right, candy. Whoever, voted, oh, whoever voted for me was correct. I did die first. Sam died first. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Dang. Dang. The airlock is gone. The only one person Everybody. voted, and one person voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, airlock. Yeah, you get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, airlock cards, because we don't need them. Well, you might need them if this comes back into play. Oh yeah, yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't destroyed. Oh, that's right. I thought it was destroyed. No, it was not destroyed. Let's put these back in there. Yeah. My bad. That was me. <laughs> She's like, "That's gonna die first. Hey, guess, guess what? Dang, Step die first. Hard. She switched with me. I I put the cargo hold. <laughs> One and two and Ugh, it was supposed so to be Amy. Go first. You are the first crew member. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wait a second. I did torch the shuttle bay. Yes, that should be dead. The shuttle bay should be gone. I I got dealt two shuttle bay cards, so I should probably get new cards. Do you have any shuttle bay cards? Mm, no. I mean I, I had two of them. Let me destroy the shuttle bay. <laughs> Why don't you? <laughs> oh, so there's none else. I got dealt that card again. I had to play it. I had to play it. Um, no, I got dealt the card again, again. I know. You had to play it. Yeah. So, whoops, I have three cards here. That can't be. I'm not paying attention to any of these. Just looking for the shuttle bay cards. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah. This one. Yep. Yep. Do do I have to be in Oh no, that's not No. It. Okay. We're good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> bah humbug. Bah humbug. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. Just because I can. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's so why she did the uh, I'm going to play that I'm in the airlock. You are in the You know airlock. what? That's a safe play. <laughs> that is a really safe play. I'm going to be in the engine room. And guess what? I'm the corporate spy. If the alien would kill me and I'm alone, I'm going to stun it. Oh. I take a sample. I'm going to kill life support. I'm going to leave and I win and everybody else dies. That's nice for you. Well, if I'm last, I'm bull. this is, if an alien strikes your position, reveal a new location card. And it goes there instead, which you wouldn't want it to go to me because that would no. be bad. No. So, choose one of these four cards. Can you choose that one? This one? Mm -hmm. It's the galley. It eats people in the galley. Nothing happens. That's it. Survived That's it. another. We survived round. another round. Amazing. Except me, I'm dead. And since we didn't look at these, we don't need to reshuffle them. Okay. One and two and. Okay. I am first. So I am going to be. In the engine room. Discarding my other card because 
I cannot be the I cannot be in two different places or change my action. Okay, so I'm gonna be in, in the, the galley. galley. That is a safe place. And I'm gonna choose a lo location to depressurize. Oh, how about the engine room? Um, well, that would kill crew. That's me. Well, that would probably be smart if I want to be the surviving winner. <laughs> but because well, if the alien is there, it's gonna die. But what happens if it's what? How does yours win? Take a. Oh, because we're not in the same room. Right. So, okay. um. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the engine room. It's coopetition. Yes, it's coopetition. For sure. Now, if it is in the engine room, mm -hmm. so I'm going to die regardless, I think. The timing on this, it says, check the red text, resolve all unresolved actions simultaneously. All actions will resolve even if the player playing them dies. Oh, right, because this is at the end of the uh, round. round. Yeah. So yeah, well, this is to... all end of round actions. So number five is end of round actions, and mine counts as it. this is when we are. Oh, reveal the alien's location, but the alien is not killing me until end of round. Mm -hmm. If the alien has survived, check to see if any crew or in positions match in the location. So that doesn't happen until mm -hmm. it says if a card instructs you to destroy a location, all crew members are dead. And it says other actions resulting in crew deaths also occur. Now I'm assuming we read this page from top to bottom. Destroy is up here. If the alien has survived, kill a crew member here. So I think if it's in, if is stronger that you are going to destroy me, I'm going to choose Thanks this one. Room. Access corridor, but I still get sucked out the airlock. Oh, so it's all up to me, people. Let's I am still take out him. So. You have depressurized that you did not uh, end of round destroy that location. Yeah. So you know where it's going to be. There's the engine room. There's an engine room card. Nice. It's going to be in the cargo it's hold. Going to be in the cargo hold. Hold cards. Let's hope that. No, you don't want cargo hold. Engine room. Oh no, because I'll be in there. Yes. You know, I could, I could still go in the actual yeah, yeah, gallery. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, gallery. but if you... you might be able to do something about the engine room, like blow up, or the cargo hold. You might be able to blow up the cargo hold. Well, let's see. Let's find out. Here are your two cards. Good luck. <sighs> do something good. <laughs> <laughs> the galley blew up. Oh, it's just Neelix is cooking. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Like me cooking. <laughs> I'm going to be in the galley. You're going to be in the galley. And then I'm doing delayed fuse. All right. Next round, you are only dealt one crew card, which must be your position. End of next round. Not this round, but next round. Destroy the cargo hold, but it's already going to be destroyed. Yep. Oh, darn it. I read that. You want to? You, you don't want to go to the cargo hold. So. No, I don't. Oh no, no you don't want to. The galley. Unless it one. says, uh, the, "End of round. You and your itchy trigger finger kill every other crew member at your position. But if you're the last on board, you find the alien and blow it to bits." So what does the alien? Would the alien get me first? Uh, I believe. Uh, it says all actions will resolve. So, oh, if you're last on board, you may find yourself as the last living crew member. I forgot about this. You will continue playing, but you have the end of this the next round to pull off a win. Oh, gotcha. So I wouldn't. So won. no, it will. This is no, the. This, this, is, this is your. This is your one and only round. Shoot. So, um, but here's the last on board. If you're the last left. Uh, alive and you can manage to play it as your action you win the game regardless of where the alien is located even if it's with you so cargo hold but it will still it will still kill me right because no, no even if it's with you you win the game 
We'll so go you are cargo hold, hold. You know, heavy you, weaponry. You're, you're heavy weapon, so you got him. And you have destroyed the alien. Amy pulls off a solo um, coopetition win. Nicely done. Yeah, it was it was quick and it was. Uh... Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you had this one round. You had this one round to win, and you pulled it off. Some nice, nice. I like that it plays up to ten. It'd be crazy. Yes, and look how fast it is. How long? How long have we been streaming this, Steph? Very long. Uh, Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. So rules plus two games of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super yeah. quick. It'd be really fun with a lot of. Oh, with like, ten people, with 10 people, I would love to play this with ten yeah. people. Yeah, it's a good con great. game, maybe. For yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Just because being able to take out other people and <laughs> I enjoy keep uh, killing Michael. That's right. That was fun. <laughs> no, everybody <laughs> enjoys killing Michael. A very positive. <laughs> it's partially co-op. It's already too late. <laughs> <laughs> so this game is killer. What more can you can you Can I argue with that? Tim Smirk and Dagger. Be sure to check it out. Yes, do and it. Some. And if you enjoyed this teaching playthrough and you want to see more just like it, you can watch me die on YouTube. Just search for Board Gamer Steph. <laughs> or you can watch me die on twitch.tv slash Board Gamer Steph every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central where we stream three games or more every single stream. So come join us on Twitch where we play all, all the, the games. games. And for those on Twitch, we'll be right back.